Kara, and I'm a librarian at the Community Library of DeWitt in Janesville. Welcome to Learn With Your Librarian, our weekly web series where we introduce you to digital resources offered by the Community Library of DeWitt in Janesville. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Hoopla, one of our amazing online digital collections where you can borrow ebooks, audiobooks, comics, magazines, movies, music, and more. I'm going to walk you through the steps on how to download and access Hoopla, whether you're using a desktop computer or you're using a tablet or smartphone. Before I jump into the tutorial, I want to mention a couple things that make Hoopla unique. There are an unlimited number of copies for titles in Hoopla, which means that multiple users can download the same title at the same time. That being said, there is a limit of 10 downloads per month per person. The lending times will vary by material. The ebooks are obviously longer than a TV series or movies, but there are no late fees. The items automatically return themselves at the end of the lending period. And finally, this service is for library patrons who have registered their cards at the Community Library of DeWitt and Janesville, or at our previous name, the DeWitt Community Library. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to download Hoopla on your smartphone or your tablet. First, go to your device's app store. I'm using an Apple iPhone, so I'm going to go to the app store here. It may be in a different location on your phone. When you open the app store, when you get to your app store, press the search tool and type in the name Hoopla and click search. It looks like the very top choice that we have is an ad for Audible. Um, we'll scroll down to the second option, which is Hoopla Digital. You will need to click this cloud with the arrow pointing down on an Apple device to officially download the app. It may take a second or two to download, but when it's ready, you will see the open button here. You can click the open button here to open the app or you can toggle back to your home screen and see where the Hoopla icon downloaded on your screen. It looks like it's on my second page here, so I'm gonna go ahead and click that. If you've never used Hoopla before, you will need to create an account first. So why don't you go ahead and click don't have an account, sign up. You'll need to enter in your email address and your password. Once you have entered in your email address and a password, click Next. Here, you will be prompted to search for your home library. Make sure to type in Community Library of DeWitt and Jamesville. And when you type in the AND, use an ampersand instead of typing out AND, as it is case sensitive. Next, enter in your library card number and your PIN number. If you can't remember your four-digit PIN number, visit our website, www.cldandj.org, and click the Services section to find a tech guide that can help you reset your PIN. Once you arrive to the Hoopla homepage, it will list everything you have currently have out, and then will list also everything you have previously borrowed. To search for new items, click the search magnifying glass icon on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You can also view featured collections by category. Video, which includes movies and television shows. Music, which contains CDs and albums of all different genres. Or you can click books, which shows ebooks comics, and audiobooks. I want to point out that Hoopla does not have as wide of, as a selection as our other digital collection Libby. Hoopla curates its own collection, and we don't necessarily have control over what items they include. Materials on Hoopla, unlike Libby, are simultaneous use, which means that multiple viewers can borrow the items at the same time. That's why it might be useful to click one of these specific categories below, like videos, music, or books, to see what's available rather than doing a general search. 
That being said, I still want to show you what a search looks like. To start your search, click the bottom right hand magnifying glass icon again. I'm going to search for the book An American Marriage by Tayari Jones. I'm cheating right now because I know that the title is already in the collection, but I thought it would be good to highlight something that I know for sure is available. So I'm going to type this in and click search. Now here are the two results that I've received for my search. As you can see, there are two copies of American Marriage, one as an audiobook and one as an ebook. I'm going to click the ebook. To borrow the item, you'll need to click this blue borrow button below. It will remind you exactly how long you have the book out for, which is 21 days for ebooks. It will ask you, are you sure you want to borrow this title, which I think is a great question since you have a limit of 10 items per month. I'm going to go ahead and click borrow. At this point, it already downloaded the title, which you can see below, and I can just go ahead and click read if I want to get started. There are a couple quick features that I want to point out when it comes to eBooks. You can one, turn the, to the next page by swiping your finger across the screen from right to left in the same direction that you would turn the physical page of a book. You can mark your place or a particular passage in the book by tapping the screen once and then clicking this little tab icon right at the top. If you need to jump chapters or look at the table of contents, click this next icon over that consists of the three lines and dots. Next, if you need to alter the size of the font, change the font itself, any sort of text margins and other formatting rules, click the uppercase and lowercase a's. And finally, if you want to do a search within the book, click that mag magnifying glass to search for specific names and characters. To close out of your book, click the X at the top left hand corner of the page. To go back to your homepage and see all of the books that you have borrowed, click the bottom left hand corner of the screen where it says My Hoopla. This is technically your homepage and you can always access it by clicking that little house symbol. Before I end this tutorial, I want to point out two more things. First, you can change Hoopla to only kid-friendly content by clicking the kids icon on the top left-hand side of the page. Make sure to check this feature out if you are a parent or a grandparent. The curated content is appropriate for children under 12 years of age. And finally, you should pay special attention to this little gear at the top right-hand corner of the page. This icon is your settings. Here you can adjust your account information, change to a different library system, and update your notifications. Thank you so much for listening to this brief overview of Hoopla. Your My Hoopla page will keep track of everything that you have checked out on your card and will let you know exactly how many more titles you can check out this month. Thank you. If you're using a desktop or a laptop computer, open up an internet browser of choice. I'm using Google Chrome, but you can also use Mozilla Firefox or Safari. And go up to the top of your screen to the address bar and type in the following address, www.hoopladigital.com. Press enter. Might take a second to load. To create an account, click the blue Get Started Today button that's in the middle of the page. Here, you'll have to enter in your email address and a password. Hoopla requires this information from you before you enter in your library card details. Once you enter in your information for your new account, click Agree. Whoops, passwords do not match. Then you'll search by library name, city, state, or zip code. In our case, we just want to start typing in Community Library of DeWitt, aha, and Jamesville. We'll go ahead and click the name where it says Community Library of DeWitt in Jamesville and come down to the bottom right-hand corner to click Next. 
At this point, you will be prompted to enter in your library card number. That's the long number that's on your library card account. And then you should type in your PIN number, which is your four digit password. All right, so this is what the main homepage looks like when you're on a laptop or desktop. At the top of the Hoopla website, there is a search bar for you to look for content. You can narrow down your search by selecting a particular category by clicking everything. We'll give you different options to choose from. You can search by material type, search by an author or a person, by a publisher or a different series. So there are different ways to narrow it down on this end. You can also click advanced search to the right and enter in more specific information. So if you have a particular title or format or release date, or language even, you can narrow down your results list even further. I'm just going to go ahead and X this out for now and type in the regular search box. I can tell I've been looked up two different titles earlier. <laughs> I'm going to type in Harry Potter and see what is available. The website will give us a few search suggestions that you can narrow down, but just press enter on your keyboard to complete the search. As you can see, we have 127 results for Harry Potter the soundtrack to the audiobook to the ebook of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. You can narrow down your results list on the left hand side here. Today I am going to borrow the ebook of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. And to do that I will just need to take my mouse over the title and click it. Then to borrow the item click the blue borrow button that's located underneath the cover image. We'll remind you again how long the book is available for. I can now enjoy this title through Friday, June 5th. To view the items that you have borrowed, move your cursor up to where it says My Hoopla. Click the Currently Borrowed link and we'll give you a list of everything that you have out. Right now we only have one item which is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. And to get reading, all you need to do is click the arrow button here. Hoopla is very user friendly. To get to the next page, you just bring your cursor over to the right side of the page and click the arrow. It's super user friendly, easy to maneuver. And there are a couple features I want to point out. On the top left hand side, you can click close to exit out of the book. On the top right hand side, you have all of the great features that I pointed out earlier in the video, such as the ability to change the font size and the margins and different formatting things to being able to search within the overall text, to being able to navigate between the different chapters in the table of contents. And finally, the fourth little icon there, you can bookmark a page and make sure that you keep your spot. All right, so there's two more things I want to show you on the desktop view of Hoopla. First of all, you can view the entire catalog of items that are available by clicking browse. If you are a parent and your child has a card and wants to use Hoopla, bring your cursor up to the kids text up at the top of the screen and just click it once and the page will refresh with kid friendly options to choose from. I'm going to go ahead and unclick that for now. Finally, this little gear here is your settings. You can change your notifications. You can alter your library. So if you move, you can change your library here. You can also make recommendations to Hoopla so that they continue to add content that is interesting to you. And finally, you can update your account email and your account password through settings as well. All right, so that's an overview of Hoopla for a desktop computer or a laptop. If you ever need extra help navigating Hoopla or having problems, scroll down to the bottom of the page and at the bottom left hand side, click help. There will be tutorials and troubleshooting information for you.